I would have loved to come in here with six great songs that I'd written and recorded them, but that was not the case. So it was kind of like, you know, which songs do I feel comfortable singing? Knocking on Heaven's Door was one that I had always tinkered with for the last couple of years, you know, and felt it's, it's simple. It's an easy melody and, you know, finding a key for me was easy that I, you know, I played it played it a bunch of times, so I felt comfortable in singing it. And um, also, that was like a song that I really felt was good for the times right now with all of the gun stuff going on and, you know, just where I've been and having an opportunity through music, I feel like it's such a great way to kind of stand for something and, and send a message. And that's what I love about music from the 60s and 70s is it was so applicable to the times and what was going on and the songs that were being written at that time really sent a message out. and. At that time, those songs were popular music, so they ton of people listened to them, and I really feel like they kind of swayed, you know, politics and in a good way. You know, it's like Street Fighting Man and some of those songs. It's like they're they were just like, oh wow, this is a strong message to the public. So I think that music now has kind of lost that in a lot of ways. You know, every once in a while, a song comes out and you're like, oh yeah, that's written about what's going on now, and to me, that's kind of like a great device for writing music. It's like, oh, well, you know, how can I try to make the world a better place through a song? Going back to kind of those songs from the 60s and 70s of what I grew up listening to and trying to pick out, you know, maybe some that kind of have applicable messages to today was in the back of my head kind of in choosing these songs. And then getting Will in here was kind of just, you know, spontaneous. He was here for a few days and like, hey, we're, you want to come back and play guitar tomorrow on this track that we already did the vocals and stuff on? He was like, yeah, come for two hours. So, uh, but it was really cool in this whole experience. Everyone that you know we worked together brought in to play on on this um, on these few songs. We just kind of had this really quick connection through the music, and Will was kind of like that. Felt like, oh, cool, like, you know. All of a sudden, it feels like you've known each other for a while, and we just sat in a room and played guitars for two hours. So that was awesome, and he was just. He's like snuffy, you know, he didn't overplay anything and he just played amazing, really cool stuff that was totally different than anything I could have ever done. So that was really fun.